Today on number six with cheese, this video is going out to Mr. Dan Hunt because Dan Hunt spent $30 on Patreon to pick exactly where we go. So he was here with his wife. They got toasted ravioli nachos from Labriola Cafe. So today, the Mag Mile, downtown Chicago. We're gonna get that. Dan says it's dope. Dan, we're trusting you. Let's go. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a good one. All right, Dan Hunt. All right, Sixers. One order of the toasted ravioli nachos, in quotes, acquired jump cut. I don't think I've ever had ravioli as nachos. Yeah, I've never even heard of it. All right, we're downtown. Sean, get the phone out. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see. Whoa, straighten that out. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see. There's veggies and stuff. I don't know what they are really. I, I know that that's those little tiny tomatoes. And then I don't know what these are. They look like grapes, but they're uh, almost assuredly not. <laughs> uh, maybe some peppers. And then there's some sort of meat. I'm not sure what that is either, but it looks tasty. And then there's, you can see the ravioli. And then some sort of white sauce, which I might be like a white cheese. And then um, maybe like a Parmesan cheese. Or no, is that what that is that you put on top of pizza sometimes? Yeah, this is one of those ones that without looking this up, I don't oh, think- Oh, Yeah, stuff. Jardinera's not. I don't think anybody in their right mind would know exactly what's on this. Yeah, it's a tough one. All right, so here's what it says. Braised beef. Okay. Fontina Fonduda, which is cheese. Fun, Sounds like Fontina a Fonduda. name of a popular Latin singer. It Welcome does. Welcome to the stage, Lon. Fon Fontina Fonduda. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Calabrian chilies, which is the spice in it. Okay. Little peppers. And then cherry tomatoes, both uh, the yellow and the red are cherry tomatoes. Oh, okay. And jardinera. Wow. $15 for one appetizer portion of this. So take that information and do with it what you will. Yeah. So here's like the actual ravioli, huh? Going, That's ravioli. I'm going hands. Nice. All right, Dan Hunt, toasted ravioli nachos. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's so good. It's got that cheese in mm. there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You guys see that? It's got that mm. cheese in there. And then, you know how nachos work. You gotta kinda do your do your due diligence to get whatever you want on them. I already knew this was gonna be good because Damn. they still have the best deep dish pizza I've had. And look at this. Oh, <laughs> that is looking good. I don't even really like deep dish pizza. Yeah, but that changed our minds. Yeah, dude. That is really good. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. Holy crap. Patreon is a huge reason why we even really ever mm -hmm. came to this place. The first time was our top patron said to go there. Mm -hmm. Loved it. And then now Dan Hunt, who's been on the Patreon game for years, he told us to go. Bam. Mm -hmm. I love this $30 thing. I love people being able to tell us where to go. Yeah. Like we said before, for the last one, we wouldn't have tried it. Right. And I'm glad we're trying it, you know? This is fantastic. But yeah, this is such a good appetizer. We said 15. 15 bucks. That sounds like a lot for an appetizer. And that is, right? But this is a ton of food. This is a definitely a meal's worth of food. Yeah. And appetizers, at least in Chicago, are generally running around like eight to twelve dollars. Absolutely. That's also a spot you go in with your family and eat and probably throw down money. You're ready visiting. to spend money yeah. when you go to Labriola. Yeah. But it's like all the food's gonna be exquisite. Mm -hmm. This is very good. It's fantastic. Damn. What's this one? You were correct. The crunch of the breading mm -hmm. of the ravioli, fantastic. The creaminess of the cheese. Then you get that really tender, almost like smoked flavoring of the braised beef. And then jardinera, which is basically just pickled peppers and carrots and all kinds of stuff. So good. So many good flavors mm -hmm. mixing together. And this is a generous portion. Yeah. Yeah, good call, Dan. This is fantastic. So this is like, it, it lo God, what does it remind me of? It's like, it's just so well breaded. I yeah. don't even know how to like describe it. And it just looks like a trash can filled with old food. <laughs> like it doesn't look great. <laughs> But it tastes amazing. Oh, add some of that beef on its own. That's really good. I know. I love braised beef. Yeah, yeah, tasty. 
Do, do, do. I guarantee it's good. A little Sixer sauce. Amazing. God damn. Our hot sauce is an everything hot sauce. It cannot be contained. It's meant for everything. Do you want to be with Corey Wagner or against him? You know, it's a glove compartment sauce, dude. You throw it in there and anything you're eating in the car, slam it up. This is one of the best appetizers in the city that I've ever had. A very good appetizer. Very good appetizer. I would get this every single time I went there. Mm -hmm. If I was going with a bunch of people, we we're going to throw down money, like 50 bucks a person. That's something you could split with a lot of people. You'd yeah, like, there's hey, four people. Yeah, dude, for sure. Mm -hmm. right, Holy smoke. What a unique thing. Yeah, I've never even heard of that before. No. Brilliant idea. Yeah. Labriola, dude. It's a lot of food. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> That's gross. So unappetizing, bro. <laughs> people are watching us slam this like, no way it's that good because it looks disturbing. It's probably the, the like thing that couldn't look more gross that is the complete opposite. Like yeah. it is an absolute opposite of that. Yeah, it looks like a travesty and tastes like heaven. <laughs> it's a travesty of a mockery of a sham of a mockery of a travesty of two mockeries of a sham. Before we rate the toasted ravioli nachos, Let's go ahead and do a shout out. Merch out, merch out, merch out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Number six with cheese.com. Mouse click noise. You can go to the website. You can buy all sorts of stuff. A lot of people are buying the Sixer sauce, which obviously I can't stop eating and talking about because I'm so happy that it exists. When people buy off the site, we say their names. You buy more than one thing, you jump to the front of the line. A lot of people bought three hot sauces because it's free shipping. So we're going to give two of those names right now. I mean, how tasty does that look? It's so good. It's just so random. Why is this a food and why is it so good? Who was like, there's no one in Italy that's doing stuffed. No, they got weed there. <laughs> Makes sense. Marijuana is very popular. All crazy food creations, I'm convinced, Dude, are birthed from just being blitzed. I want ravioli, but like, I don't want just noodles. Bro, throw some it. cheese on it, bro. You gotta do that. You got any of that uh, meat, that braised meat? You gotta fry it, bro, fry it. Merch shout out number one goes to Luan Perrieria. <laughs> I hope I got close on hard, that. That's an interesting one. Sent that up to Canada. That's oh, an international yeah. sale right there. Oh, gotta yeah. love it. Um, and and Luan got three bottles of Sixer sauce. Mad respect, Luan. We love you for it. Yeah, thank you so much. Merch shout out number two goes to a dear, dear friend. Can't believe she went on the site and bought three without, like, I would have given you some. Miss Stacy Gates. <laughs> Married to one of my best friends from college, Cash. Uh, they could not be better people. They're two of the most incredible humans. Stacy, thanks so much for supporting Number Six with Cheese. How about that name? He just, he's so used to it, he brushes over it. Cash, bro. I know. Yeah. Cash, yeah. bro, that's Cash. so sick. Dude. Named after Norm Cash. First baseman for the Detroit Tigers. Oh wow! Who God, fell off that. a dock in Cowboy Boys and drowned. Boys and drowned. That's well, how he died. Good for him, dude. <laughs> that's, that's a good way. That's what he's a fun way to go out. Yeah. He was so drunk. They fell off the dock. My friend uh, in high school uh, did acid and tried to swim, and he's dead too. <laughs> oh, Can't this... do that. Can't do. Uh, you should not swim in acid. Drunk. No, no, you shouldn't. You know what they say? You shouldn't uh, eat and then swim yeah. less than thirty minutes. You shouldn't do acid and swim ever. Yep. My grandma convinced my brother uh, that if you swim right after you eat, your penis will fall off. <laughs> That actually, was my great aunt, my aunt Dottie, and she said she's like she's got kind of a raspier voice. She's like. Yeah, Dad, what do you think happened to me? I used to be a guy, I went swimming right away. It was just bobbing up. Corey was in the water, it bobbed up right, right, got close to him like a buoy. This is bobbing up and down like a buoy. Penis buoy. Yeah, uh, my Aunt Dottie said that. Yeah, penises fall off if you swim too uh, too quickly <laughs> after eating. He believed it, and then they picked oh, him up. I would. He was like four, which you should, probably shouldn't tell that to a four-year-old. Then they picked him up and threw him into the pool, and he was holding his <laughs> for dear life, bro. He was freaking, <laughs> no, 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 no! And they just chucked him in. Ah! No so, wonder he's so scarred. Yeah, everyone in my family, they've all been oh tortured. Oh my god. Out of five swimming pool emojis, how many swimming pool emojis to give the toasted ravioli nachos from Labriola Cafe Cory? That was super good. Yeah. I really liked everything about that. The taste was delicious. Adding braised meat to it, great move. That cheese is, I love that white cheese. Me too. It melts so freaking well. Like I've seen, I've had that at a couple, I think El Camino uses that cheese back home, this Mexican restaurant for their nachos and they're like, okay. Kylie lives for it. Um, yeah, it's just all around really, really good. I mean, toasted ravioli of course is gonna be good. Uh, I'm gonna give that a 4.75, very, very good stuff. I don't know what else you could have done to make it better. 
I guess removed the tomatoes, but <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, that's just one of those items that you woke up today, you probably didn't know it existed, and now you wanna make it yourself. You wanna yeah. buy ravioli, deep fry the ravioli, get a bunch of ricotta and fondita fonduto cheeses or whatever, mm -hmm. and just get after it. Uh, dude, that's a five. <laughs> Look at that. that couldn't have been, that's the one of the best appetizers in the city. Yeah. I, it's so unique. I yeah, love dude. innovation. So Yeah, I like the uniqueness of it a lot. You're frying ravioli and making it, calling it nachos? Good for you, Labrio. Brilliant, dude. Brilliant. Dan Hunt, thank you so much for donating 30 bucks a month and picking that spot. Uh, that might be the first, one of the first fives that somebody picked. Maybe they've all been fives. I don't know. This is all just information. Yeah, that's I'm a just, good point. I don't really know. Oh, you know what? It would have been probably the Labriola pizza. Five, five, five. That is a goddamn five. Basically, in the last few weeks, even though these are se videos are separated by a distance of time, you know, we got to edit and whatnot, we've had the best pizzas. Uh, guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video, uh, another fast food video. I think we're going to go do that, that new Papa John's little Ooh. sandwich thing that came out. Excited to try it. That'd be fun. Uh, so we're going to check that out. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for supporting the show. And we gotta get the hell out of downtown because they're coming for us. Yeah, dude. Who's they?